is a quick 10 minute painting for you. This lovely, rather heavy, solid pair. I'm going to do a quick painting of that. Um, this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm not going to use any pencil and I'm going to do it very quickly. And I'd like you to try this too because it will just help you loosen up. So I'm looking at it from this point of view. So you need to think about who you, how you would be looking at it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the very pale green that we have at the top. And I'm just going to put an area for the top of it. There isn't very much green on this pair actually, so I'm just going to put a bit more because it looks a bit prettier. Rinse my brush off. I'm now going to a yellow ochre colour. with a bit of raw umber to get that browny colour. Just that browny colour there. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And I'm going to paint the shape of the pair which I have moved. Just big round, there we go. The thing with working like this is that you don't get precious about it. And it's all about learning about your paints, about how they work with the water. I was thinking of using a wax resist, but I'm not. And I'm going round, I'm going to take a bit of that brown round there. Of course the stalks, I'm just changing the shape, changing the shape slightly. And the stalk is going to go up there. Now it's very dark under here because the light's coming this way. So I'm getting more raw umber. And I'm just going to run that around the bottom and you can see how that bit has dried off already but I'm going to use that to my advantage and just put some mottle bits in and it really is very dark under there so let's take more umber, raw umber Drop some bits up there. Just smooth that edge out. Whoops. Use the tip of the brush lot just to get you a nice even edge. Need even darker colours down here. So just a little bit of guess what paints grey. And just letting this all play with the paints. Now let's come up and dip this stalk. And I want a little bit more of that green. That's gone a bit too spotty there, so we need to just move it out a bit. And just let all those colours find their own way. Now we need to ground this, this pair. The shadow 
and I don't mind that the colours bleed. And the shadow is quite soft here. Okay, let's just soften that shadow out a little bit because it just fades to nothing. And I'm just going to just tidy that a little bit, otherwise I'm losing my definition altogether. Just mix that around a bit. And with the point of that brush, just, just tidy that a little bit. Because really, <coughs> one should wait, <coughs> excuse me, till that's dry to put that shadow in a bit more and make it a bit more <coughs> defined. There we go. A bit more green. Of course I can. And I am going to let that dry and then I'm just going to go in and define a little bit more and hey presto, there's a pair. It may not be the most stunning of paintings but it's there to show you that you don't need masses of time to do a quick painting, loosen up your painting muscles and have fun watching the paints play. Fabulous. You could go in there with some watercolour pencil, sandpaper, all sorts of things, but that's your pair to start with. And, well, not quite the same colour, but who cares? It's just a pair. Thank you for watching.